Minister in charge to reply, please. Speaker, sir. I uh, would like to thank Sri Medal Bon Sain, Honorable Emily of Nongfo, who has raised the call attention laws and the rule 54 of the rules of conduct of business, highlighting the issue pertaining to this paper, cliffing the Megalia dated 15 March 2023 under the caption. As is at least demand state remain clueless. Sir, today, as the Education Minister of the State, I'm proud to be, to say that, to be the son of the uh, primary teacher. My father was a primary teacher. I understand how my father and all the teachers' communities undergoes pain and agony and a number of problems when they serve the students. Sir, we are well aware of the problem faced by the teacher community. Yes, sir, teacher's community is a pillar of our society. And our teacher's community is like a manufacturer or human engine who prepare the human resources to be used tomorrow for the betterment of our state and of our country. So, before I further go ahead, we'd like to begin with the good news to all the SSA teachers of the state. The government of India has released the second instrument for the payment of the salaries and a couple of this, couple of this big and the up-to-date salary of all the SSA teachers of the state will be released very, very, very soon. That's sir, I may inform this August House that the state government is actively striving towards the providing quality of education at all levels despite challenges in various educational parameter. The state government is taking a holistic approach to address the concern of multi-phase categories of teachers in the state. To implicit that the state is doing less and clueless about the concern of teachers is unfair and personal <clears throat> statement. That sir, uh, the state government is aware of the series of such series of demands put forward by the teachers community, such as the budget provision in the state budget, salary structure and enhancement of salary, merging of SSA teachers to education department, constitution of education commission, filling up vacant SSA posts, direct transfer of salary, and regularization of SSA teachers and others. So, in 2001, I mean 2021 and 22, the actual release of government of India is 305.84 crore, and the state would contribute roughly 30.19 crore. Consequently, the central government released 271.71 crore, and the state matching share of roughly 30.9 crore. The shortfall in expenditure was met by the state government through its corpus fund, and eventually almost 90% of the expenditure is on salary alone. In addition, sir, the actual release of government of India during 2002, 22, and 23 is rupees 372.36 crore. And it's here, and the state government would, cont would contribute to this 41.37 crore. As it state share matching the above central share as per existing fund sharing pattern of Samagriya 6. As on February 2023, the central, central share, share received by the state is rupees. 272.34 crore, and the state share is rupees 30.26 crore. The state has also released the additional grant or first fund amount to rupees 104.62 crore, besides the mandatory 10% state share, which amount to 30.19 crore as on February 2023. That's sir, the SSA program was launched 
by the government of India in 2001-2002 for universalization of elementary education in the country. It is a time-bound program and the future of the scheme solely depends on the continuity of the program, which is the policy decision of the government of India. The state government is apprising the above in inference and its complexities since the demand required in-depth assessment, especially on the financial implication of salary, enhancement, and merging of SST teacher to the education department, as well as regularization of service of SST teachers by the state government. <clears throat> so, Speaker, I'm informed this also that the school managing committee of all the SST schools are appointing authority and not the state government. And the recruitment of SST teachers is executed by the school managing committee. Therefore, the recruitment policy of the state government does not permit the regularization of the contractual teachers. The contract of service is signed between the managing committee and the teacher of SSA school in the state before joining the service. Furthermore, the proposal to end the problem of SSA teachers in terms of salary solely depends on the fund given by the central government. Nevertheless, the state government is proposing to take this matter from the wider perspective to address the problem of teachers of all category. Sir so Speaker, the state government has approved the Meghalaya State Education Policy on 20th September 2018 and has addressed teachers policy sufficiently and recommend that the teachers recruitment will be based purely on the merit and only qualified competent teacher will be appointed as per the extent regulation. The state government will create additional, I mean, will create condition along the constructive and the creative lines to help motivate and inspire teaching. The teacher's pay, service condition, and the retirement benefits should be commensurate with the social and professional responsibility. The appointment of teachers and the government and government aided schools shall be met on the basis of MTET at elementary level. For government secondary and high secondary, appointment will be met through MPSC. A cadre principal or headmaster, heads of the schools, will be created to ensure effective school functioning. A rigorous selection process will put off in place to fill school head or principal vacancies. The government will ensure the teacher's salary can prone to minimum skill worker norms. A purge reports will be made to ensure enhance the term and condition of service to attract and, and retain high quality teaching. That, sir. Based on such recommendation, the state government is in final stage to reconstitute Meghalaya, to constitute the Meghalaya State Education Commission. So, Speaker, the Education Commission will have a functional structure consisting core members who are experts in the field, including reputed and experienced academicians, an expert for management and, and planning. The functional objective of this commission shall be to advise and recommend the government of Meghalaya on matter relating to school system, salary, school structure, school management, functioning, and accountability. Produce concrete solution and strategic recommendation for assuring reforms in the school system from the perspective of National Education Policy 2020 and fulfilling its various principles and articulation. The broad roles and responsibility of the Commission are to look into the major issues that are impacting the education sector in state. On matters relating to management of aided school, the performance concerning general school functioning, activeness, operation, accountability of the SMC, consolidation of the different categories of aided schools, system of system for granting aided status to of schools, establishment of effective mechanism to ensure pay parity with regards to the salaries of teachers under different aided categories with respect to the with respect to government teachers. Way forward for the issues pertaining to teachers under Samagra Six event. Rationalization of schools, especially with regards to unviable schools, surplus schools, low enrollment schools, single teachers schools, problem, problem to availability of language teachers, especially in border areas, to study the existing situation gaps, situation gaps, issues in depth of the problem area identified. Put forward the recommendation that will bring about long-term and large-scale improvement and solutions in problem areas defined. Formulate principle 
and the guidelines that will streamline and improve the condition in problem area defined. I recommend policy change whatever applicable. Create task force for each of the problem areas for research, analysis, implementation, monitoring, and reporting. That's uh, the state government is aware of this disparity in maintaining a regular flow of salary and other pertinent issue. However, as evident from the attempt of the state that is seriously looking into the plight of teachers at large, the state despite the financial constraint and as fire to bring about change in the attitude and to uplift and improve the welfare of the teacher. It may also be informed that drop documents of service rules and the policies such as service rules of government aided teachers, teachers is in final stage. Mr. Speaker, sir, the points that have been raised by honorable members from Nongpo has been noted. And we are, the teachers' community is always in my heart and in the hearts of the government. We are finding all ways and means. We understand the gravity and the responsibility of the teacher. We are here in the governance today because of the number of teachers has prepared us. As, a, as I'm here in the position, I have been served by the teacher, and I'm here to serve for the teacher. The chains of service will continue. So we are always here for the interest of teachers' community. And I would like to, through you, sir, to urge all the teachers' community of the state. Yes, the serious problem that has been raised by our honorable members, not only about SSA teacher, but of all teachers of all category. The problems, the complexities for the last 50 years on the education department, but still is still today. We are finding up the way. I can assure you, sir, after the constitution of the state, Megalai. Education, Megala State Education Commission. We will come off with some policy, some ways and means, and we will examine and analyze this in depth. What is to be done? Where is to be done? Where is the problem? So it's a, the approach of the government is very, very positive. I understand, sir, it's the responsibility of the department and of the government. But, sir, would like to request every member of this house also, sir. Let's soldier this responsibility to chef this department, this education sector, for the better of tomorrow. We'd like to also urge the teachers of all category of our state to soldier the responsibility from the heart so that we produce the best human mission, human resource for tomorrow. That will be part of the government's that will serve for the humanity tomorrow, sir. Sir, I would like to assure to the humble members, whatever race today, government will examine and will find a way and answer with this few submission. I hope I could, I could satisfy, I could make smile in the, in the, in, in, uh, in the minds, in the, in the mouth of our humble members. Thank you so much, sir. I resume my seat.